you know, we have a BlackBerry here, but, you know, one of the things that's always interesting is... <laughs> <laughs> you are not afraid just to drop that in. Historically, water and electronics and have been calls. worst enemies. Occasionally people drop them in the toilet. And this isn't going to be a problem anymore. That's because this phone, laptop, uh, and iPod are all protected with a clear spray-on coating, rendering them 100% waterproof. I mean when it's important. And not only is it still playing, but we're still getting audio from the touch yep. connected to your speakers. That's correct. You really don't see much of a coating or feel much of a coating. The coating, remember, is uh, about a thousandth of an inch or less uh, thick. One of the things, Cara, that people really find interesting is then when you take this. And it's like water on the back of a duck. It just yep. sort of rolls right yep. off. Yep, just like after you waxed your car. This kind of protection doesn't come cheap. You know, $1,000 plus to do a laptop. Which is why I feel so naughty for pouring water into the keyboard, but that's really just so fun to do. <laughs> But some product reviewers argue the manufacturers should carry the cost. Personally, I'd love to see technology that lasts longer. I just don't know if manufacturers are going to see the benefit of doing that. Plus, I think people are just kind of used to the idea of their technology being disposable. Besides coding gadgets, Sid says this technology could also be used for emergency first responders, for biomedical devices, or even historic preservation. I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com.